Welcome back to another video. Today we are visiting York, the second most visited city in the UK. We've got a good one coming up, guys. York, known for its cobbled streets, Victorian tea rooms. What one to do first, the cream or the jam? Haunted pubs and the eye-catching medieval minster. This place is truly magical and possibly our favourite city in the UK. Today we'll be showing you the top five things to do when you visit this beautiful city. First stop on our list is to go to the famous York Minster, which you can't go to York without going to this place. It is super famous and super famous all over the UK as well. Yeah, literally we got out of the train station and you look up and it's there. It's literally all over the city. It looks really, really good. So yeah, we're going to check that out. But you can book tickets online. As usual, we didn't bother. <laughs> we thought, oh, it'll just be all right when we get there. And then we've got there and there's a massive queue. We just walked past it a minute ago. We're going to go there and join the queue now. in we managed to buy the tickets on our phone in the queue and jump the queue so we're winning at that tickets were only £12.50 each I say only £12.50 it's quite a lot to look around the cathedral but what we need to do is to, me to go and buy another ticket to go up the tower which is like the number one thing to do here and I think that's like six quid but it's not for a couple of hours so we might have to go and get that ticket then come back. York Minster is the second largest Gothic cathedral in Northern Europe with over 2,000 years of history it's jammed full of interesting stories from the past. One of its most famous features is its 128 breathtaking stained glass windows. I can literally go around staring at them all day. The Great East Window here is the largest expanse of medieval glass still standing in Great Britain. All right, we've got our tickets for the tower, six pound each. The tower challenge. The tower mean. challenge. I have heard very good things about that. It looks like it starts at two o'clock. We booked on for two forty-five because that one was fully booked, and there was one at half three and one at four-ish. But there's none earlier, and it doesn't say anything about it online either. So try and match your, your cathedral trip up with the tower wall. But yeah, on to the next thing on our list. Ooh. Next on our agenda. All right, we're in the queue for the famous Betty's Tea Room. Now, I knew there would be a queue because there always is, but this is astronomical. We have come at literally 5 to 12, so I thought the queue would be shorter than usual, but I imagine it only gets large well, throughout the day. Time. No, but I think one o'clock is like probably the peak time yeah. to eat, isn't it? But it's a traditional Yorkshire tea room and we have to go here. It's just part of the experience of Yorkshire and York itself, right in the square. Yeah, I'm going Starbucks. No, we're waiting. I'm not waiting. Even if we wait an hour. I'm not waiting. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm not waiting. Update, we have been queuing for 45 minutes so far. We waited for officially one hour guys, which is the longest I think we've ever waited for a restaurant. But Betty's is very famous in Yorkshire. It was founded in 1919 and is a family run business and it's very, very traditional tea room basically. Very fancy, as you can see by the salt and pepper shakers. I ordered a raclette and bacon rosti, which is unreal, I've had that before. And of course you can't come to a tea room without a scone and clotted cream. So very excited after that long wait. And I got an English breakfast and a scone. Yeah. Scone yeah. or scone? What is it? Scone for me, scone for you. Probably. No, I say scone. Yeah, because you've taken a northern accent from me. Oh. Time to try the first bite. The rosti with the cut cheese and bacon. Oh, sorry. I absolutely love reflect cheese, like I'm obsessed. It's scone time. Scone o'clock. Soon this will be scone. <laughs> what one should you do first, the cream or the jam? I do prefer cream. Cream, yeah, I'd say cream. All the right amounts. Uh, cream. Yeah. First bite, let's go. What have we got on it? Well, cream and jam, that's what you usually put there. But bacon, I save a bit of bacon. Very good. So we finished up at the delightful Betty's house. I used to go there a lot with my parents when I was younger because there's one in North Allerton, so where they live. But yeah, it was 50 quid for the meal, so it's not the cheapest breakfast place, but it's worth it for the experience. Very good service. And we got to wait for an hour. 
yeah, that waiting, the waiting's not ideal. I don't know how you can get around that, but it's just part of the package, I think. Anyway, we're heading on to the next thing to do, which is a very exciting one if you like Harry Potter. We're here at the beginning of Shambles, which is one of the most famous streets here in York, which actually used to have a row of butcher shops over it. And a fun fact is, Shambles actually means shelves in Anglo-Saxon, which is why all of the buildings are overhanging, because it used to put shade on where all of the raw meat was. But now it's just a really busy street full of Harry Potter shops and like really cute um, little like tea rooms and stuff. You didn't say that it's the inspiration for Diagon Alley. Oh yes, it's the inspiration inspiration for Diagon Alley, which Hence is the Harry Potter. claim to fame. So the place behind that place there sells a sandwich with a sparkler in called the Guy Fawkes Sandwich. Um, but the reason it's a Guy Fawkes Sandwich is because we just walked past the Guy Fawkes pub because Guy Fawkes was born here and I've just said Guy Fawkes about eight times in a second. And now it sounds like a tongue twister. It's like Guy Fawkes, Guy Fawkes. But yeah, they sell uh, wafty sandwiches there. And the next queue in York, which possibly could have been as long as Betty's, is for this famous Harry Potter shop where you can see brooms and wands in the for window. All your wizarding needs. I think we're too queued out to even try and go into that shop, but it looks like it could be really good. So if you come here and it's not as busy, like not on a weekend, go and try it out. Yeah, or if you need a new broomstick or a wand, yeah. that's where to go. <laughs> yeah. There's just a queue after another queue. So there's also a really famous market here, which has loads of really cool food around the edge, but also you can get fresh fruit and meat down there. And then also like souvenir -y kind of haggly shops that just sells like random stuff you wouldn't even know you wanted until you saw it. Loads of pints, pubs. Yeah, pubs as well, everywhere. So we're back to where we started. We've got. 10 minutes and then we do the tower challenge so we're going to check out I guess we'll be walking all the way up to one of these towers which is going to be cool let's go <laughs> 275 steps to go <laughs> So done 100 steps, you've got a little viewpoint here, but there's going to be better views at the top. It's quite cool though, it like opens up, doesn't it? Yeah. So you go like, we've gone obviously on the first bit, opens up, then I guess we're going to go up there. Yeah, he literally said, if you're claustrophobic or scared of heights, don't come. Seventy-five steps completed, mate. Apparently, word on the street is that this height would swallow the Leaning Tower of Pisa. So we are very high, and we were in this. What's it called? Cage. Well, yeah. So you don't jump up. Yeah, you planning on jumping up, were we? <laughs> but yeah, the views are amazing. Just because, just to reference, we all know how tall the Leaning Tower of Pisa is. <laughs> yeah, you know it's big, don't it's you? It's as tall as eighty-seven elephants. Let's <laughs> have a look at the views. Yeah, go on. Then. the Leon Tower of Pisa, five metres below the Sydney Opera House, and it weighs 16 million kilograms, which is 1,400 double-decker buses. You get the picture, it's pretty big. I guess we've got to go back down the same way that we came. So I think everyone's finished coming up because there's no way two people would be able to walk yeah. up those stairs. And imagine falling. You just fall like... <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool well, though, isn't it? Yeah. Well worth the extra six quid. Yeah.
Right, so the next thing on our list, and one of the top things to do in York, is to check out the, what are they called, just the city walls? City walls, Is that yeah. what they're called? There's no official name? I don't think so. No, check out the city walls. Yeah, which gives you an elevated view of the whole city, and it actually stretches for two miles. We're just going to do a portion of it. We're not doing the whole two miles. Well, I think we've done quite a bit of walking today, We should we? work off that Betty, which was pretty hefty, but yeah, no, not two miles. We'll go have a little bit of explore and see what we can see, but it's got some good views apparently, so let's go check it out. And here is another angle of the cathedral, yet again. Starting to get pretty bored with this cathedral. It's everywhere. God, no one's going to be able to get past my bag, are they? Look, nice little pub. Right, one thing I would say about York is, although it is beautiful in the summer, I think the best months to come are autumn and winter. It's so Christmassy here in winter, and then autumn, it's gorgeous because of all the trees being orange, so definitely come in the colder months. I know people no. generally don't go out as much, but I think it's I stunning. I prefer the summer because you can have a drink on the riverside and get a riverboat. That's true as well, we have been in the summer, but I, I would prefer the winter but months. But I so prefer the summer. Don't be put off coming here in the winter. Oh. Would you say this is the gate, Gaz? Uh, it looks great, maybe it's okay. No, uh, I hope so, because I'm pretty done with walking around the wall now. Yeah, we've been a lot we've of had, walking today, haven't we? It's like four o'clock and we've been here since half ten, so it's been a bloody action-packed day. Come down out of Monk Bar Gate, as you can see here, and there are four gates around York City Walls. If you want to do the full two-mile hike around, but we've just gone for about a mile. About so two miles? No, nah, I don't think so. One mile. Got some great views of the cathedrals from a height. I'm going to head Sick, on to the it? Very good. Yeah. I, I liked it. Yeah, it was really well, nice. They're quite narrow and my back backpack's massive. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to head to the next stop now. York is really well known for its pubs, bars and restaurants. So the last thing today, and we've earned it, haven't we? The After perfect walking way, around, yeah. The perfect thing to end our day is to go to the pub. And we're not going to just any pub. We're going to the oldest pub in York called... Ye Old Star Inn. And it's just around the corner and we're looking forward to a drink, so let's go. So when I was younger, I used to come to York all the time with my friends and Hopefully just go out, the pub. go day drinking. So it is a really good day out if you want to get drunk. <laughs> Okay, so currently enjoying a pint in York's oldest pub, which was established in 1644. But yeah, the beer tastes fresh, which is good. You said it was rammed in there, didn't you? It's so busy. You said it was really small, but actually it's really big, but I think it's just really popular. It does loads of craft ales and stuff, which is good. The last section of the walls here, guys, on the way to the train station. It is the end of the five unmissable things to do here in York. We have had such a good day, haven't what we? What a day. What a good day. Yeah. Been very enjoyable. We were literally sat there having a drink then saying we really want to get a hotel. York is beautiful. But we checked and it was £350, so <laughs> we have to go home. It's not the cheapest of cities, we have to say, even compared to Manchester. But yeah, 100% come to York, come check out the things you said and make sure you give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.